Good morning, good morning, good morning, and happy Wednesday. This is Gigi. This is Walking 1K with Gigi. What a beautiful morning to get your 1,000 steps. They say it's going to be a little bit harder day, today in the 757 up in the 90s. But you know what I'm going to say. This is a day that the Lord has made and we're rejoicing and we're glad in it. The last day of July, y'all, getting ready to go into August. But you know, I was reminded there are some children that have already gone back to school in other states. Somebody sent me a post this week and their grandchild starting school in another state. I said, wow, the end of July? And here in the 757, we're gonna have some children going back at the end of August and others going back at the beginning of September after Labor Day, but time is flying. You know, I was uh, reading my post this morning and I wanna give a shout out to Pastor Louise Hicks of Greater Mount Zion, Church of God in Christ. And uh, she was talking about the children going to school and that we need to pray for our schools. We need to pray for our schools. We need to walk around the schools and pray for them. And she said we could even sit in our cars and maybe take one or two schools and just cover the school with prayer. That is an awesome idea, Pastor Hicks. You know, before I retired at my school, the week before the students came back, we would, anyone that wanted to, we just those that volunteered, and we would have an army of our staff members and teachers, we would walk down every hall and we would cover the entire inside, every classroom, every area, the lunch room, the, the library, the cafeteria, wherever. We covered the school with prayer and then we would come outside and walk around the outside perimeter and just cover the school in prayer. You know, schools used to be the safest place um, to be, but we know that's not the case. Well, they don't allow prayer in school, but that shouldn't stop us from praying for our schools. And we pray for our children, even before they leave us. Pray for your children every morning. You know, I walk around the school here every morning. Many mornings I have just prayed for the school because my grandson was going here and next year he's gonna to go to high school and I'm wondering if they'll let me walk around <laughs> the high school to just cover it with prayer. I'm gonna do it anyway probably. But uh, we want to we want to pray for our students everywhere. Um, everywhere. Oh my goodness. You know the governor has um, issued a ban on cell phones uh, in the classroom, which I understand that and that should be because it causes distractions. But on the other hand, of course, parents are concerned that um, they would not have, children wouldn't have their phones in case an emergency came up. And I can understand that too. When I was going to school, that was not a concern, but we know things have changed. So we need to pray for our schools. Thank you, um, Pastor Hicks, uh, for that. We also call her Mother Hicks, too. But we thank you for that awesome, just, just thinking about our children like a mother does. But um, this morning, I have a beautiful gem nugget. Well, the title of the devotion in our daily bread was The Beautiful One. The Beautiful One. Um, my gem nugget though, you know, there was a song that someone came up with, you are so beautiful to me. And for me, my gem nugget today, Jesus, you are so beautiful to me. You know, beauty is only skin deep as they say. And beauty is more than being 36, 25, 36 and having beautiful nails and hair, or having six pack and uh, abs and, you know, uh, biceps and triceps. 
But what makes one beautiful is what's on the inside. You know, Isaiah 53, 2 says this about Jesus. It says, um, he grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. Nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and with and familiar with pain. See, I love the quote that was in this devotional this morning. Those of us, listen to this, who love Jesus and have entrusted our hearts to him as our savior, count him as beautiful for who he is and what he's done for us. And the most beautiful thing that he did for us was to die on Calvary's cross that we might have a right to the tree of life. When he hung it up there on that cross, of course he was not beautiful at all. Our scholars say that he was beat and done so bad, crucifixion was just the worst type of death that you could die. He didn't even uh, look like a man on the cross. He looked more like an animal with his entrails uh, hanging out and, and, and bruised and scarred and whipped and, and spit on and buffeted and, 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 and bruised. But that was the most beautiful thing, that he died for us and went through all of that uh, for us. Of course, that was not beautiful, but what he did was beautiful. That's what we needed. That's why I would change that song. Jesus, you're so beautiful to me. Jesus, you're so beautiful to me. You're all that I ever hoped for, and certainly you're all that I ever needed because I needed a savior. You needed a savior. And when he was on that cross, that was the most beautiful thing that he could do. You know, tears about to come to my eyes. You were so beautiful to me. Oh my goodness. And you know, I was listening to Bishop T.D. Jakes that even after he was resurrected, guess what? The holes in his hand and everything was still there, was still there. Oh my gosh, you are so beautiful to me. Oh my goodness, that's all I got for today. If you miss um, your Sunday school lesson, if you miss your Sunday school lesson, you need to tune in to the gym neck. It was about the Word of God, and Paul was giving encouragement to those that were following the Word of God and being persecuted. The Word of God. So tune in for that if you miss that. Oh my goodness, subscribe to the Gym Nugget channel. We're almost to 20,000, 20,000 um, subscribers. So you have a blessed day. But Jesus, you are so beautiful to me. Have a blessed day.